decided to do a monochrome blue version of the Josie Wales poster uh, just to see how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with a, the background first this time. Um, just felt like that would be easier to work from, especially since it's going to be uh, all blues, just to make sure I'm going in the right tr direction with the actual image itself. Just throwing in the lightning bolts here. It's kind of, I'm using a purple and a dark navy blue for the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the medium blue. Kind of Actually, it's more like a lighter blue with the medium blue. Just to kind of get my shadows and highlights. Not trying to get real super detail in this one. Just kind of want to see how the monochrome blue version looks. Trying to a little, do a little brush work on the fingertips. But it really wasn't totally thrilled about that. So I just kind of covered over it. Um, so this is definitely experimental. It's been a while since I did this poster, so I'm still trying to um, determine which stencils go which. And so I decided to go ahead and throw down the um, outline just to kind of give me an idea of where things were going. And I kind of liked the way it was looking at this point. Felt like it was going in the right direction, especially with a monochrome. You can kind of get away with not as much detail as long as you have the clean outline of everything. And then, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just work off of that, kind of sculpture off. I'm using about three, I'd say four blues, a light, a uh, medium light, a medium, and then that navy blue, and then the purple. The purple is kind of an accent, kind of kind of like using it for the scarf and the, and the jacket, and just areas that I wanted to kind of differentiate a little bit. And then obviously I'm also using black. And the only thing I'm using white on is the teeth. Um, and of course the lightning bulb, but that's just the paper. So uh, the uh, stencils were pretty bowed when I pulled them all out. Uh, they were stored flat, but for some reason, I guess the paint kind of buckled them up. So I had to put a lot of weight on them. It's starting to come together. The only thing I did want to um, accent was the um, trigger guards on the gun. I just went ahead and left them the brass. I used a metallic gold for that, um, just just to give them kind of a little bit of the accent of that particular color, that feature. Everything else is just going to be in the blues and a little bit of purple. A little challenging trying to get the volume of colors, but as long as as long as I think we just kind of focus on highlights, low lights, and darks, and then the mediums just kind of uh, get that where it works the best and kind of come back with stencils and touch up where we need to, things like that. It'll work. It just, it took about, two, about 30 minutes, I think, to do the main feature. So about uh, about 30 minutes working time on the main de uh, sections of the stencil. And here I'm going to go ahead and outline it now with black. And I use that sharp pointy stick to because I like it to highlight real clean. And I, so it keeps it tight down on the surface when you push down on that. And there's and I decided to go ahead and uh, do the brush work on the um, beard. But that brush wasn't working very well. So I've switched over to a scuffing pad. And that seemed to work a lot better. Get the kind of texture I wanted. And then to end it, I decided to uh, just put like a dry brush uh, border around it in a medium blue, just to kind of give it an accent around the border and the edge. So I just sprayed that and then dipped my uh, uh, cheap throwaway brush on there, and just pull it around the four edges. Let me know what you think, and thanks so much for watching the video. Are you going to pull those pistols and whistle Dixie?